On my way. On my way. On my way. On my way. Scotty. Who's Scotty? What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are taking out the OMW electric skateboard. It is their very first board they are making from this company. And I've got to say, I've been riding it for, what, two weeks now since I did the unbox, just after work and so on, going to the grocery store. It goes really, really nicely. Um, really responsive, good power, very, very comfortable deck. A couple of really small little things I'm not a big, big fan of, but mainly really, really like it. Those two little minor, I guess, improvements or call outs I'll share very shortly. But before that, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott Davies. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I love to film electric skateboard content and tech that's relevant to you guys and girls, the viewers. If at any time during this video you find it useful, entertaining, make sure you hit that thumbs up as well. Start off with the truck, the double kingpin standard out of the box, DKP. They are nine and a half inches wide and they are forged. Nice standard width, um, a pretty standard manufacturing process. Would be nice if they're CNC, but that would definitely put the price up. The wheels, they come standard with the 175 AT tires. You can opt for the 150, 155 street tires, which I actually really, really like. The ESC that they're running is the Hobbywing 9028. It's the latest, latest generation. I believe it's generation six. It could be even be seven. So it's got all the features that you've heard me talk about on all the other boards, plus a couple of little extra ones, uh, like app connectivity, but it's not their own app. It's just a third party app, so I wouldn't bother with that. Really simple um, miles, kilometers, adjustment, and brake adjustment, which is really nice to see. It feels, I'm guessing, it doesn't say, or I can't find it on the website, but it feels to be around between, I'm gonna say 70 to 80 amps. So 35 to 40 amps per motor. And the battery it's running is the 12S4P, one of my favorite configurations. Uh, yes, bigger is generally better for range, but for a board of this sort of, I guess, size, for what it's designed to do, 12S4P is just absolutely perfect really good range keeps the weight down now the cells they're using are the samsung 50 s's so a really nice cell it's the cell of choice at the moment people are sort of a little bit moving away from the molly cell p42a's just because of that capacity the 50 s's give good capacity which means this has a 20 amp hour battery in it so you are going to get really good range like i'm going to guess probably 40 kilometers which is really nice uh, on a board of this size and weight and, and rideability, you know, it's, it's, we're sitting on 46 kilometers an hour right there. And it's no wobbles, going really nicely, and it still has acceleration. So those 50Ss are giving a really nice um, performance when it's needed. four kilometers per hour just then now this has a boasted top speed of 60 which i wholeheartedly believe that was 54 was not full acceleration this is definitely achievable of hitting 60 kilometers per hour now i'm just going to stop quickly to show a couple of features it does have this really nice uh, built-in tail light or brake light so you can control that from the remote so that's off when i brake it flashes i can turn it on from the remote it's solid when i brake it flashes that's exactly how a brake light should work. Uh, the remote that comes with it is just the very standard Hobbywing remote control. Nothing, um, nothing out of the ordinary there. It's got a screen protector on, USB-C charging, 
comfortable lanyard, good length fits over my wrist. And just the last little thing to show off here, it does come with this included motor guard. Nice to see companies including these now. There was a time where you'd have to pay extra for these. As I mentioned, the wheels that come standard are these ones, the 175 AT tires. The rims are beautiful. It's so nice to see a new style rim. And these are OMW uh, branded, so it's their own rim. I haven't seen it before. 175 standard tires. You can opt for optional street tires. And it does come with the 97 mil urethanes in the box as well. Other options you can purchase are the headlights. I will do a really short, simple video on that. The headlights are super bright. They are hardwired into the board. And again, you control it through that remote. So when you double click that power button and the red light goes solid on the back, your headlights turn on. Crosswinds. All right, we're going to head down here to my favorite little coffee caravan. Go get myself a long black. I'm going to tell you about the two little opportunities for this board. coffee stop uh, take this opportunity two minutes really quickly to talk about the two little things I don't like about the board two little like nitpicks if, if, if there are any at all well there's three actually the first one I've already mentioned I wish it came standard with the 155 tires not the 175 I think that's more of a choice than a, than a standard wheel um, second point is I hate the grip tape design I don't know it just feels it feels really 80s or 90s it doesn't doesn't feel current, if that makes sense. And second point, it's also linked to the grip tape, and I just wish it was padded, you know, two, three mil, just to add that extra little bit of grip, um, especially on the concaved areas, which we'll, I'll show you once we start riding in a minute, because I haven't spoken about the flex yet, or the deck shape. Um, padded would just give that extra bit of confidence um, when cruising and riding, so anyway. That's my two little things. A um, couple of other little uh, points just to mention while we're parked, because I've got my phone. Uh, it's IP56 rated. Um, so they don't recommend it for rain, rain and rainy, rainy days. Um, comes with a 4.5 amp charger, so empty to full. Uh, you're looking at about five hours. It does come with a handle in the box I didn't mention. It's a really nice handle that goes on the front there, comes out from underneath, so you can you know, pull this behind you. Already mentioned the trucks. Uh, the motor's 6374, so you've got two 6374 motors under there, 165 kV. That's where you get that really nice pop of acceleration and that high speed. It's a sort of a nice, a nice combo in between. I've um, already mentioned the Hobbywing ESC 9028, is it from memory? Oh my god, yeah, 9028. So that's the latest one. I think it's the sixth or seventh um, version of that particular one, so they just keep getting better and better. Uh, they say 40% hill climb. I'd say that's with a much lighter rider than me on it. 60k top speed. I 100% agree that that is definitely achievable with this board. 150 kilo weight limit. So this is a really 330 pounds on this board, which is a rarity to see a weight limit that high, but again, it comes down to how they've manufactured that deck with the carbon fiber and the glass fiber. Uh, the weight of the board, you're looking at 38 pounds, so 17 and a half kilos, so not heavy at all for a 12S4P um, with big wheels on it. So anyway, that's the boring stuff. I'm gonna finish my coffee, we'll go for a ride, we'll talk about the flex, we'll talk about the dual, uh, the dual, what do you call it, components of the board, I guess, the battery and the enclosure, the enclosure and the deck. God, I'm confusing my words, I need more coffee. Uh, and then we'll wrap it up. So. Let's do this, let's do that, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish this off. All right, we are caffeinated now, so let's talk about the enclosure and the deck and why this is so different from other carbon fiber electric skateboards. 
Firstly, it's a dual setup. So you've got a deck and then you've got an enclosure attached underneath. And the way they've done it is really, really uh, ingenious. It allows the, the deck to still flex, which is a rarity. Now the deck is made up of carbon fiber and glass fiber, so it's super strong, but it does have that ability to flex if it's not restricted by an enclosure, which it's not in this case. Let me show you really quickly. So you can see I'm standing on the deck and underneath there you can probably see the enclosure. The nice thing or the different thing is that these two are two separate pieces, which allows you to get the, the flex that you wouldn't normally get. Now it's a nice to have, it's not a, it's not a, oh this is a must for every carbon fiber board. But if you do live somewhere with lots of bad roads or you know lots of vibrations and that sort of thing this is definitely going to smooth out your road a lot let's go on the grass here see if you can see it i'll slow it down 50 percent so that setup is absorbing and allowing that flex under your feet and it's taking the vibrations and the, the jittery, jitteriness out of it, which makes the ride so much smoother. It's a really smart way of doing it. All right, now, how does it carve? Well, it should be no surprise, double kingpin, nine and a half inch trucks. It carves really nicely. We'll get around this corner, and I'll show you. Woo, a few bumps there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. This is about a meter and a half wide, this path, so. As far as handling, oh, I know I said I wasn't a fan of the 175 more wheels, but for all terrain, with a, a slightly raised tread, I'm gonna call it an, an enduro tread, it handles really, really well. The rubber is really nice. I've got the tires at 30 PSI. But it is lovely to have a board with bigger tires and there is no chance of wheel bite the way they've designed the deck shape really lends itself nicely to those at wheels oh this has got to be if they could close this off this would be my favorite track to do like time trials you just got to always be looking through the trees 100 meters for for cyclists but man, look how windy this is. <laughs> oh, a few bumps there. Oh, yeah, get it. All right, uphill, off-road. Those 175 more tires doing a really nice job. And that uh, carbon fiber and glass fiber deck absorbing a lot of those bumps and vibrations. Like a lot. Ooh, loosey goosey on the corner. All right, a little bit steep here. Do we have the power to get up on the loose gravel? <laughs> yeah, we do. Of course we do. All right, so 175 more tires, just a really nice option. They seem to be, I know I, I razzed on them, raz, raz, ragged on them, ragged on them at the beginning. Maybe I'll cut that bit out because this is growing on me. They are carvy, they're fun. And then when you get this stuff, well, they're actually pretty smooth. Oh, big rocks. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I made it, safe and sound. And this is the stuff you gotta be careful of. This is the loose stuff that you'll, you'll slip on and eat shit take all the skin off your palms and knees. Now that I've said it, I'll probably jinx myself. Let's slow down. And how do we get over there? Oh, big holes. Oh. Oh, cyclists. Oh. <laughs> all right, only one little twig stuck in the back. So that was a great success. Great success. All right, so the OMW board, the Calvary, Kel, 
Cavalieri. Cavalieri, Calvary. No, I've already explained why I can't say it. Really nice board, um, brand new company, using really top-notch componentry with a really interesting idea as far as having that, that split system with the deck and the enclosure. Really nice tires, the 175 mil tires just are really actually nice on the road and off-road. It's nice that they are not just standard Sunmates. I'm just not a fan. I have too many delivered that are unbalanced or with weird warping. These spin beautifully. They've even got a directional arrow like you see on some car tires so you can't install them around the wrong way like we see all the time on social media and uh, some influencers. Um, the 6374 motors, really responsive. The ESC, really, really nice, that 9028. Uh, the weight coming in at, what, 33 pounds, I think it was, 7.5 kilos. Really nice weight for this type of electric skateboard. Um, responsive, easy to pick up, with that included handle to pull behind you, it's just it's just not a problem at all. The price point, I think it's about right, 15.99, I think it is. Uh, don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure it's 15.99. For what you get, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of skateboards. It's a lot of battery, it's a lot of power. Um, it's just a, a really nice, a really nice design. Uh, what, anything else? I think that is it. Yep, that is it. Any comments or questions, chuck them down below. If you've got any thoughts about this, if you've got any, any um, revelations about this particular board or style, put them down below. I'd love to, I'd love to read them, I'd love to comment. Uh, EscapeCon tickets go on sale this Cyber Monday, I think. Uh, I'm also going to be buying tickets the moment they go on sale. Last time I dragged my heels and I ended up paying an extra 10 bucks because I got like the third release. That's it, I think. I'm probably going to remember something when I press stop. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, always wear a helmet, skate safe, and we'll see you in the next video.